Chateau. One more. Yeah. Hey guys, Hello. welcome back. Welcome back to Chateau welcome back to Chateau Let's Play. Let's Play. My name is Austin, and I'm Lucas, and we're probably just gonna try and avoid these guys. We're here. Is that guy torturing those skeletons? He's having them fight each other. They're like training. For goodness and sake. One hits them, and then it like falls down, and then it gets back up because it's a skeleton, and so it can't actually die. <laughs> oh, strange. How are you today, Chateaus? Um, yeah, we ask them, we, it feels like we ask them that a lot, but we actually don't, because... It's just like once a day. Yeah. How are you today, Lucas? <laughs> I'm good. I'm in a similar mood to that skeleton that just said, please help me relieve me of this misery, so... Oh. What, what misery do you need relieving of? Uh, n not a lot. Haha. <laughs> um, so we gotta kill all of these decadents. It's just like a little bit of misery? Did I just do a... Did I just do a spin cut? I, I shouldn't have. I should have just done a regular attack. I didn't notice. I, I, I think I did. I probably did. She's not very helpful in this. She, she, she's just got a crossbow. Crossbows do piercing damage, and, and, and skeletons, you need to hit them with a, <laughs> with a blunt weapon. They've already, you can't really piercing them, it's not good. There's nothing to pierce. Yeah. Skeletons they are immune to piercing damage in D&D. Take no sense. damage from it. Uh, oh, I should have. Uh, damn it. How'd you get past my cadaver pals? Who's there? It's Ash. It's Piccolo. It is Piccolo. It's the same guy who does all of the art. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We gotta fight this guy. What's his name? Oh, it's Slash. Yeah, Slash. So we fought Flea, Flea and, Slash. and now Slash. Then we're gonna have to fight Ozzy. That's Slash, you slimy dolt. Stop playing the comedian, eh, Glenn? <laughs> You'd be singing a different uh, tune if Cyrus hadn't been there with you last time. <laughs> You'd have it right up in those bony <laughs> fellows. You just busted up. Yeah, they keep oh. calling him Glenn. Oh, snap. His name isn't Glenn anymore. It's... It's Wee Wee. Wee Wee. It's a much nicer name. Thing am I supposed to hit him with magic? I think I probably am, because he's the physical guy. Yeah. yeah it looks like they're yeah. they're all getting hit. They're, they're getting hit. It doesn't matter. Phew. Yeah, smash him, Lucas. Teach him a lesson for what he's done. Put the time on Branny. Yeah, it's get, Branny gotta time. Gotta get that clock. Get the clock time. Clock time. Clock tower. You just used attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack, attack. I'm using things like spin cut and lightning, and he just used the attack, 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 attack. Attack, 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 attack. I wish that uh, we, we had some more skills right now. He just has sort of slurp cut, which actually does oh, a ton of damage. That did well, I right there. Um, so we'll uh, we'll haste a couple of these guys. Hasty, hasty, hasty race. Haste's the best spell in this game. Haste? Oh, because yeah. it makes you be able to do more. Yeah, you Quickly. get to move to twice as fast as your enemy. Interesting. Whoa! I know, right? That's a satisfying one. Like, oh yeah. It. The the best one is his his final magic attack. It makes it sound of like a, a squeaky door opening, and Whoa. It, yeah, it's really cool. Right. Yeah, goes, Brannies? Yeah, Brannies. Oh. I know. Sounds weird. Sounds like it shouldn't do that, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> Who could say what magic should do? I'm your magic. Truth to that. Spitting truths. That's a mama wisdom right there. <laughs> um, oh, man, I like magic so much. It's really cool. Wish that I could do, like, had a wand. I, you know, I wish that I could just, like, I wish that I was, like, good at close-up magic. I've always wanted to be good uh, at, like, that sort of thing. You're pretty good at that stuff. You got a couple uh, tricks. I, like, I, I'm not, though. I, I'm, I'm good at sort of, like, the, the easy, sort of, like, gimmicky ones that don't have, like, they don't require any, like, a lot of practice or, like, sleight of hand or anything. <laughs> uh, I know the sort of, like, science magic tricks. Hey, those are cool. Um... Which are fun, which are good, which are, they're, they're nice. They're just not a, you know, I wish that I was better. Take so much work and practice. I did it, suck it. 
he was a lot easier. Oh yeah, took way less time. He's out of here. Ah, oh, now we gotta fight Slash too. Now he's got his sword. He's gonna slash us. Isn't he just the same guy? Yeah, he's, but he's picked up his sword now. Oh, why didn't he do that before? What a silly guy. I know. Well, it, it, he gets rid of all of our buffs, so we have to re-give haste to uh, the people. Re-give haste. Yeah, the music, you really forget that it's there, but then when it got rid of it in the creepy part of the castle, it really was strange. It really is really silent. Really alarming. It's like to... a mystery. You're like, what's going on? I don't, like, I don't like, even know. Is something really bad going to happen? And then it sort of does. Mm -hmm. There's all those creepy figures of, of people you know and laughing children. and It's like a horror, like a, like a, like a haunted house. Yeah. We missed a lot of their good puns. They, all of the people that, like, are, like our mom is always like, they, they say, like, good puns and stuff. <laughs> um, but we were talking over them, so who cares? Who even cares? Not the Chateau. Not, that's, that's for sure. That's for damn sure. That's for damn sure. They don't care about Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger! For um, the win. We should play Chrono Cross, man. What's that? It's the sequel to this game. Oh. Sort of. So this game has a strange lineage. Um, Makes sense. So this game, this game came out. Oh, that did zero damage. So we're not going to use that anymore on him. Um, um, so this game, this game was intended to be a one-off. Um. No, with no sequels. But it's very popular. Um, so they made a Japanese release text-only game called Radical Dreamers, which text is only. yeah, which is a direct sequel to this. Ugh. It's a, well, it's not text only, but it's text based. There's some visuals, but it's like one of those, like, yeah. open door, go south, those sorts of games. Um, not my favorite. It's called Radical Dreamers, direct sequel to Chrono Trigger. Um, that game was never released in America. Um, but it tied up, it tied up a couple of loose ends that happened in the end of this game. Just uh -huh. like, um, just like some interesting, some interesting sort of like, oh, I remember so that. I bet that made hardcore yeah. fans pretty happy. Yeah, that made hardcore like, fans. Oh. But you had to know Japanese to be able to make, yeah. to be able to be happy. Or just like read about it. Um, um, so then, then that game was not very popular, but it got adapted into Chrono Cross in both America and Japan. Ah. So Chrono Cross is not a sequel to this game. It is a remake of a sequel to this game. So a lot of the a lot of the continuity is bad. So, and then there's not a lot, there's like, there's not a lot that actually ties it to this game. Mm -hmm. Um, Chrono, I mean, uh, uh, Branny, She, and Cheese show up in it. <laughs> uh, Nicely done. Branny, She, and Cheese show up in it very briefly. Um, but... For the PlayStation. Yeah, for looking PlayStation. At, it's it's pretty pictures. good. It's pretty cool. I like oh, it. I like that. Um, it's sort of like a more 3D yeah. version of this game. So like, um, see that blonde one? Yeah. The blonde one is actually a character from this game, um, but she's supposed to have blue hair. Um, oh. So they like they didn't get the visuals right because they weren't trying to make a sequel to this game. Uh. They were trying to make a remake of the text-based game, which didn't have a lot of visuals. <laughs> so. How odd. Yeah. So it's it's like hard to like follow exactly like how it's related to this game. Um, and it, like, sort of takes place in the same world. You can, like, see similarities in the map. Yeah, like, this like robot that. sort of looks like our robot friend Pesto. A little bit, yeah. Like, a little bit. So, it's, 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 it's good. It's similar and then not similar, so. Yeah, similar and dissimilar. It's dissimilar. <laughs> but it's good. Th that game's really nice. It's got, like, it's... At the time, it had the like the most playable characters in a in a game. Uh, it's got, oh, it's yeah, got it's like it's got like cast. thirty some characters you can play as. That's a lot. Um, That's a lot, a lot. And like a lot of them, based on different choices that you make in the game, you like miss out on, but you get others. Interesting. Stuff like that. It's it is, really it's really nice. It is pretty cool. Like in this game, how the choices you make affects the affects the ending. Yeah, which is pretty cool, especially for older games. That they had yeah, that. that they had the foresight to sort of like do that in the I initiative. Yeah, like this one with the with the the oh, guilty God. boats from earlier and stuff. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. God damn it. Oh no. I hope that he's close to dying. Two down. I only have one revive left. I should have been. I should have been having she heal, but I wasn't. 
and now we're probably gonna die. No, we could do this. I'm trying. Uh, nope. I can't do this. No. Oh. Um, it's oh. up to she because I don't have any revives left. Um, oh no. I know, that's bad, right? Ooh. Yeah, that's bad news. But he's probably almost dead. Yeah, you got him the first time and pretty quick. I don't know. I, know I just very don't, yeah, I'm this. just not sure she can do it. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, she'll uh -oh. try, though. She'll try. Uh, I think we probably have to cure, because if he does that yes indeed attack again, I'm in trouble. Yes indeed. Yes indeed attack. Um... I think he's got to be close to dying, because I've been hitting him a lot, so right. I'll give her a haste. Um, so basically, I'm just going to have to buff her a lot to try and get her to, to Powerful do it. Powerful enough to last. Yeah. Oh, um, so she's got snap. the haste. I'm worried, and but you could do it. You could do it. I'd um, I give her a barrier, too, which will help against physical attacks. Nice. She's well buffed. And then, right, I don't have, none of these do what I need them to do, right? Tonics and ethers. Um, and she doesn't actually have any attacks that can hit him other than her crossbow, so. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yes, indeed. So oh. she's going to have to hit and then heal and a lot. Yeah, and her hits don't do much damage. Oh. And I think he's counterattacking. I think those are counterattacks, which means that he's going to get his actual attack. Oh, no. Too. I know, this is not looking good. I'm sorry, I'm oh, sorry. I'm so concerned. Um, usually I wouldn't let this happen, but I did. Uh, yeah, that's better. Oh, we won! Hey! We did it! Oh, that was close! Yeah, that was really close. Nice. I knew I knew we were close. I know, man. Nice job, Lucas. Yeah. Nice, it's just in time. Blew up. Nice. Blew up. Beat a second rock nice. star. And we can take his sword. Perfect, and we can save there? Yeah. That's perfect for next time on Shadow Let's Play. Nice. Just give you one health so you guys can run and not be laying on the ground. Yeah. Um, perfect. Perfect. Next See, time. look at that. That was a triumph. Lucas beat the villain, and we, it was close. There was drama. There was high drama. Yeah. It was really nice to have you here with us for it. Can we use... To watch the events unfold. Oh, we should have just used a shelter. Uh, but, uh -huh. but whatever. You did it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Here I've, we go. Shelter. I've been awesome. Better. And I've been Lucas. And it's been a pleasure. It's been uh, more than just a pleasure. It's Ooh. been... Uh, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag, hashtag what an honor. I'm so grateful. Hashtag an honor. Hashtag. 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 Loving it. Hashtag. Hashtag. hashtag, living, hashtag I'm loving it. Hashtag. Living, living my full life. It's uh, a hashtag, hashtag McDonald's. Hashtag me right now. I don't know. Hashtag Sears portraits. Hashtag Taco Bell breakfast. Hashtag lava lamps. Hashtag uh, lava lamps. <laughs> yeah, there's a lava lamp. <laughs> Goodbye. True. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>
Hey! One of them's flowering! It's, uh... It's grown a little bud here. Hey! That's great! None of the other ones are, right? Doesn't look like it. Um, before we maybe do any more singing, let's go in and see if we've got a new plant. We do not. Good. Good. So let's go back to our original. I don't know when they're supposed to come in. I don't, I just don't, I just don't know. Um, I was thinking we'd, we'd sing to Creeping, Creeping Sedum one, but, but this one seems to be blooming, so why don't we try singing to this one for a little while? So, I'm gonna sing a song that my, my mother sang to me as a child, um, from her favorite musical, uh, Sound of Music. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, every morning you greet me, small and white, clean and bright, you look happy to meet me. Blossom of snow, may you bloom and grow, bloom and grow forever. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, bless my homeland forever. So I'll probably just do the one verse of that, because it just repeats for the second verse. Sorry that wasn't so great. I'm not super familiar with the song, but I thought that I'd try anyway. Um, I hope these don't get a copyright notice for singing a song from Sound of Music. Um, but I don't think they will. And I think it's transformative. I think that part of this game is that you should sing to your plants, and that's part of the experience of it. Um, it's like a walkthrough, sort of. Yeah. Alright. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know if we'll sing every day. I don't know how often I'll be able to think of something that's good to sing to them. But I hope I can think of stuff. I wonder what this, this budding does to them, to it. I wonder if it, it'll it grow more of them. It's an interesting thought, anyway. I lament the loss of our, of our Aeonium. We used to have another one that was like this, that we tragically killed. We, I shouldn't put the blame on you guys. It was me, but I was curious as to see what would happen, and now I feel bad that we've killed it. How does the snail fare with this sort of creeping thing? Pick up. Pick up the snail. Place him down. We can sing to the snail, but we're not going to. He just crawls right through it, like a monster. Like the monster that he is. I wish we could get rid of the snail. But I'm glad that we've got one that's flowering. Don't forget that if you comment on a video, we'll name a... Verity after you. We'll name a Verity after you. Oh, is blue one flowering too? Light blue's flowering too! Maybe they'll bud. <laughs> Who knows? That's as far out as we can zoom. It's a big open space. Alright guys. That's all for today.